What's up, Aries? Until I just been a while, y'all, at least in this type of manner, you know. Y'all seen a few vlogs. And I, oh! Sip. Mm. Bentley, get off of my pillows. Yeah, y'all see how Bentley, Bentley has to show out as soon as I get on camera. He knows I don't like him doing it. And look at him. Anyways, y'all. Y'all haven't seen me come to y'all, you know, intimate like this for a while. So, what's up, what's up, what's up? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how y'all been liking the vlogs. And this time, I had to come with something a little different. As y'all know, well, I don't know if I've actually made it super clear to y'all, but I have spoken a little bit about notary and loan signing agents. So, I am, in fact, a notary public and a loan signing agent as well. Um, in about three days, it will make a year since I have been licensed as a notary public and I run my own mobile notary business. So, I thought I'll come to you guys and give y'all five tips for small business owners to help their business succeed. Things that I've done and I've learned throughout this year that has helped me be successful, okay? So, if this is interesting to y'all and, you know, it's something y'all want to hear about, keep watching because I'm going to jump right into it. All right. So, number one thing that I have on the list is market, market, market. I can't push this enough for y'all, to be honest. When you start a new business, I mean, you tell your friends, you tell your family and everything, but nobody knows that you have this business going unless you tell them. So, you have to market in all types of ways you really got to be creative when it comes to it to be honest because you can't be everywhere at once you're not going to meet everybody you're not going to talk to everybody so um market yourself if it comes to getting you some pins like i did um with that says mobile notary my phone number on the pins and just you know using them leaving them places don't you know we usually try to keep up with our pins but i leave mine on purpose because somebody's gonna take pin somebody's gonna take that pen we all know that and they'll know that if they need a notary to call me you know so y'all it's so many different ways to market i'm gonna tell y'all a few of the ways that i marketed in another video but please if you don't know anything make sure you market okay use your social medias um make a business social media um, Google business page. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that out there. That one, it takes a while to push it, but it definitely works. For a fact, I can say that that one definitely works, okay? But we're gonna skip on to number two because I'm gonna get more into marketing in a whole different video and give y'all some ideas of the ways that I created and marketed. Y'all might know of some, but you know. Anyways, off to number two, okay? All right, so for number two, I have to stay organized when i say stay organized and try to stay a step ahead all the time because things that are going to change last minute you are not going to be <laughs> prepared for everything but you want to stay organized so that if something does change you can easily adapt you know what i mean um i had to learn that i really had to learn that the hard way to because you know learning something new you kind of gotta take time to kind of you know get yourself steady and understanding the new lifestyle change new schedule and everything but you don't want to be caught off guard so stay organized and stay a step ahead anything that you can think could possibly happen to go wrong it will <laughs> it will so go ahead on and stay a step ahead okay that will be my number two. We're gonna move on to number three. Okay. So for number three, communicate. Y'all, this one's probably really right up there with marketing, if I say so myself, because from what I've seen, so many small businesses fail because of communication. And I've just seen it through like social media. Like people are so defensive when it comes to their business, but in some ways you just need to practice professionalism and communicating because a lot of complaints from customers and clients start literally and almost end 
on communication. It was a lack of communication, misunderstanding, all of that, but it could have been really dealt with if you communicated. Just if you were gonna be late, reach out and let them know like, hey, I'll be about 10 minutes late, sorry about that. I'm gonna keep you updated, this is why. Even if you don't say why, you can just at least shoot a text message. That goes a long way. Y'all all know you've had stylists, you know, getting your hair done, and they are all really big on time. And if you're late, they want to give an extra fee on top of it if you're, you know, over a certain amount of time late and such. But then we all know we feel a certain way when our stylist is late because it's like, okay, do I get something off, you know? So when it comes to your business, kind of take those experiences that you may or you maybe you haven't actually dealt with that. But if you heard of some things that people have complained about, about businesses, take it, take it and use it. And don't let it be a lesson that you have to learn when you go through it, okay? So that, that goes back to stay a step ahead, okay? But that is it with the communication part. I'm gonna go ahead right on to number four. So for number four, I have service. That's all, that, <laughs> that kind of goes with that communication thing, y'all. But service, service, you, it, well, specifically, being a loan signing agent in another republic, it is a service-based industry. So you are servicing the public, you're serv servicing your community. So it's big, you have to be big on customer service and professionalism because different people communicate differently and you have to pretty much make sure you have the, what, how do I say that? Make sure you have the standard that you would like to meet. Because I remember at the beginning of my business, I wasn't very, you know, clear or detailed about, you know, things. And I would kind of let my schedule be fitting what they could, what my customer or my clients could um, fit. But you have to kind of buckle down and let them know what times you are available. Because believe me, people will push your time and push your time and expect you not, expect you to just fit it, like, you know. So while you are being of service, make sure you're being as clear as possible and continue to communicate, continue to be professional and complete, continue to, you know, make sure you guys are on the same page. Make sure you give them the thank yous. Make sure one thing that I do that I feel is big on both communication and services, as soon as I have booked an appointment with somebody to come notarize something, whether it's general notary work or loan signing, I make sure, well, especially with general notary work, as soon as we got on, off the phone, I have a message pre-saved in my notes that tells them all the details of their booking. Let them know the location, that we're gonna meet the time and what they need to have at that appointment. All of that, that way they are already aware that service, I feel like that's going the extra, you know, mile because you don't want it to be last minute when, and they don't even know where you're supposed to meet at and all of this, because then that pushes your schedule back. So, you know, you always gotta stay a step ahead when it comes to service, because that service alone helps your business succeed. It'll help your business grow just based off your service, okay? Okay, so I hope y'all get it. Service, service, service. Give the best service that you can give and the type of service you would like to receive. You know what I mean? service okay. so last but not least i have to follow up y'all following up is such a big deal following up is such a big deal if you as a loan signing agent have started marketing to title companies and such maybe they didn't need you when you first started marketing because you're going to get plenty of no's even when it comes to reaching out to realtors and even past clients like you know that you've worked with and maybe you you know you did pretty well with them and you need a google review for your google business page you need a google review follow up with people you know like hey, you know, thank you so much for your service and your time. I hope I completed your notarization successfully. As for Google review for the title companies, maybe they didn't need you before, but make sure you follow up a few months later. Like, hey, just wanted to reach out and let you know I am still available and interested in working with you guys. Like, you know, just follow up because a lot of times, isn't you, you never know how many emails, calls, 
that they get regularly. And your stuff could be lost in the junk mill at this point. Like, you know, so make sure, because this is this, this how you gonna be able to succeed, you know? Um, so just, just take that time and take that extra mile to follow up because you will get clients off of your follow up. Believe me, I've heard it a lot and I was just like, hmm, I don't know, I don't know. But then I did it and it was successful as well, okay? All right, y'all, so I hope y'all enjoyed those five tips that I have for small business owners and, you know, new businesses. And let me know some of the steps that I may not have spoken about and you use in your business. Comment below because I'm always trying to grow. Um, if you did appreciate my tips, Make sure you go ahead on and let me know that in the comment section as well. I'm gonna make sure I link my business Instagram page in the description box as well as my Google business page. Look at Billy. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe so I can get Billy off my bed. <laughs> but I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.